Thank you for choosing us. I'm Eugene from Iconics. I'm the co-founder. And my team and I will love online videos. So imagine following. A producer gives his best to produce a good online video. And the marketeers and sales did a great job, and thousands of people clicked the online video. And then this happens. Most of the audience have been lost in the first seconds, and only a few are watching it to the end. And this is a big problem for the publisher, because he needs good content to sell ads and earn money. You know that. It's the pre-roll we all see, maybe a mid-roll. And of course, if the audience stays engaged, they watch the next video and the next pre-roll. Look at the enormous market. There are about 40% growth rates in in-stream advertising. This year, we will reach 500 million. And the forecast is brilliant. 2021, maybe 1 billion. And this is only Germany. So the solution should look like this. But how to, be, how to produce good content? We have to watch analytics and content. And there's a gap. And for that gap, we have a solution. Our solution is called the super producer. The super producer analyzes content and analytics and predicts what the user wants, what's the, how the user wants, which will behave watching online videos. With this information, we are able to create automatically content, the perfect content for every target group. I give you an example. Um, a politician, for example, um, claims something by Twitter. And we can automatically create an online video for that topic with all facts and all aspects immediately. So maybe the end of fake news. Um, how do we do that? Um, we have an AI system. We train it with content. Our system can extract all the factors that you can see or hear. The system understands language, and the system understands what topic people are talking about. And finally, we're testing it with real people to understand the feelings when they're watching the online videos and matching all that with the analytics data. We can do it because we have a great team, a very passionate team. Uh, one of the most talented uh, neuroinformatics is Alex. He's, in, 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 is, he's here. Luisa is a journalist and producer. I hope she's following us in Hamburg. And I'm a television guy. I brought them all together. I said there was a gap, a gap between creativity and data. And our technology will close this gap to produce better content for you, for the audience. And we start with it now. Thank you. Thank you, Eugene. Questions? So, so basically, you're exponenta for a video. So Daria just presented her uh, virality score <laughs> Excuse me. thing. You know, I just said, uh, in essence, you're, you're very similar to the, to the previous company, but you're a video and they were video, text. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. so w w w where in the value chain are you? I mean, are you on the, like, under the hood AI side, or do you also create, like, a video editing suite for, for production? Or do you do all, all of the above? Um, the, sta the stage we're working in is uh, extracting the factors and predicting how the user will behave. But the vision is to have a product that is automatically editing and producing the video. So if the journalist is coming home, writing a storyline, and the system analyzes the content and makes, uh, creates the content, and it looks different for you as a target group because you're on yeah. Facebook and someone else on the local station is mm -hmm. the same team, but it's a different film. So how do you relate to like Webbits and, and those, those tools? Yes. It, it sounds similar, but you have maybe more AI going on here. Yeah, they, they are producing videos, but they, they don't predict what the user wants to see. That's the difference. And I'm a television guy. I'm, I don't want other people to sell my product. I want to make the product better with our technology. But, and I guess that, that also means that you have to integrate into the, into the player so you get the feedback loop back. Yes. Yeah. Uh, to get the feedback, we need all the data by second. We have three media houses supporting us. We have about 7,000 videos that we can uh, work with. And uh, our, our solution will be integrated in a media house. So the data doesn't have to ex go to the cloud. It's on a, our customers will have it in, the, in, the, in our infrastructure, yeah. Uh, do, do you have your own media catalog so that you can also give added videos into the uh, later on? I mean, how, how are you making better videos with the content that they already have shot by themselves? Well, if we know that you always turn off on a specific team, when I appear at the stage, for example, so this is a pattern, and we have this historical data from thousands of videos, and you as a target group behave a special way. 
And with this information, we are able to create a new video. Um, of course, the, the AI system knows how you behave. Uh, did I understand correctly in your, your previous answer, you said that you have 7,000 videos. So that is your teaching material, 7,000 videos. No, it's the starting material for one domain. We, we just have one domain, one topic that we're working in because the AI system has to learn one domain before we learn another domain. Exactly, and that's what yeah. I mean. So how big is your learning data at the moment and, and how much have you been able to learn it? Just so that I understand where you are at this very moment. Yeah, we are early stage. We need, of course, hundreds of thousands of data, but it's good enough for this domain to show at the MYP that it, this is possible, what we're talking about, and find the customers and tell them to support us. And that's the, the main thing, to find media houses measuring by second. They don't do it. Most of them don't do it. So we have three of them. We have found three of them supporting us. But of course, we have to scale, and we need much more data. How are you measuring engagement, and how does it differ for the different platforms, and which ones are you going to concentrate on? Right now, we're concentrating on the websites of the media houses who are supporting us. We have data also from Facebook and from uh, YouTube, but uh, the media house said it doesn't fit the behavior. We thought that if you watch a video on Facebook, your behavior would be the same like on Twitter. But it's not. It's That's not. a learning. Yeah. So we're concentrating on the web pages of the media houses, and then scale, and then add Twitter, add YouTube, see how you behave, how the audience behaves. Thank you. And are you raising? How much? Are you, and how much? Yeah, we are raising um, 550,000 for 2018 for the MVP. Excellent. That means yes, thank you. <laughs> we are running out of time. So let's give a big hand okay. to... Thank you very much.